My name is Charles Frizzell. I'm a painter, and I have been all my life. I started drawing when I was just a small child. And uh, my father liked to draw, and he would draw little profiles of airplanes, which I just found fascinating. So I started drawing, and then getting in school, my entire time in school, I was the artist. Everybody came to me if they needed any kind of artwork done. Then from that, I went on into high school, et cetera, then to college. And when I got to college, thinking that everybody had been, uh, you know, talking to me about what a great artist I was, I got in college and found out, wow, there's some people here that are really good. And um, so I started painting in oil, actually before I got to college, but I really got into it in college and studied a lot of the avant-garde artists of the time, uh, Robert Rauschenberg, uh, uh, Jasper Johns, people like that. But then I discovered Andrew Wyeth, and that just knocked me down. And so I started painting very realistically after that. To my mother's dismay, I headed west and uh, ran out of money in Oklahoma City, but started doing portraits in a mall. And at the time, that seemed a little bit crazy, but as time went by, I realized that I really learned a lot while I was doing portraits in a mall. And then I was able to come from there on to Colorado. And um, uh, the light, the light was just amazing at that altitude. The subject matter came from, initially, from... Um, just books and magazines and things that I saw in, in West Kentucky, where I grew up, and was fascinated by the old buildings, the old cars, things that had been abandoned. And I went through that for a long time as subject matter and just uh, would draw them and try to ingrain the, the feeling, the, the people that might have lived in some of these these houses, the people that drove some of these old trucks. Um, and then it, that started evolving into historical paintings of mountain men, um, Native American people. The indigenous people had artwork that was more than artwork. It was art in itself, but it was never made to be hung as something to decorate. It was, it was holy. And it was um, religious. It was, it held together, there were symbols that held together families um, and long, long families. And different areas had different symbols. And I just found that incredibly interesting. And it just kind of morphed into the spiritual side of the American Indians. And that is where my work focuses pretty much these days. Well, a lot of these images, some of them just come from dreams. Some of them come from books. I have an extensive library of art and Native American people. And, um, and I will see an image that triggers something in my head and then start working with this image. And I want to take this image somewhere that will, that I can relate to and then other people will feel good about. So, um, and I have all kinds of reference materials. And then of course today with computers, you can find out pretty much anything about anything. And so I, get on the computer, I look some of this stuff up, and I try to get things as accurate as I possibly can. But then there are other parts that the reality transcends what we see with our eyes. And I want to put that in as well. So it just starts all coming together. And then when I start painting, I might get 
a, a, a whole canvas pretty much laid out. And then when I want, once I start painting, I might not follow my layout, my layout at all. And I'll follow parts of it, but then it's like the canvas takes over. I don't even realize what is happening in front of me. It's just happening. And the, the, the brush is my voice. And it's, and it's moving and doing things. And, and I stand back and look at it and go, holy cow, where'd that come from? Or I look down at my palette and think, what do I do with these colors? There's colors here that I've never seen before. And they're not in the painting. What, you know, where does all of this come from? But it is, um, it's just the way, it's almost like breathing. I am um, attempting to uh, create this exceptional reality that people can look at and internalize it themselves. I am not trying to um, say anything in particular. It's just letting people look at the work and realize their own, their own take on it and what they see with it. It's almost like it's not a finished painting until people see it and, and find their own vision out of these images that I put together. Mostly I would like for people to feel joy and a, a sense of, wow, I've never seen anything like that before. You know, that I would, when people come up to me and, and say things like, this is just, this is so amazing. It, you know, it's just, um, it just really fits into things that I've seen in my dreams and so forth. That's really a, an enforcement to me of my validity as an artist. I first met Lisa in another gallery, in which I was showing here in Santa Fe. And she was um, quite the character. Very tall, lovely woman, you know, beautiful hair. And, um, and she sold art, really understood art. And she was very uh, emphatic about the work of every artist. She just, she knew her art, she knew her artist. And, um, and she was just wonderful. And she um, went on and then called me one day that she was starting her own gallery. And would I like to join her? And indeed I did. And just uh, a number of artists that I knew and admired were coming into her gallery. And I just thought that it would be a wonderful opportunity to uh, have a different place to show my work and have her representing my work. I paint because I love it. I just can't imagine doing anything else in the world. I've done it all my life and I continue to do it. And when uh, people look at my work and enjoy my work, it just really makes me feel so good. And I'm not an, an artist that just paints one thing. I don't stay in, people want to see sometimes uh, an artist that just paints a certain type of style. I like to paint everything. It's, I see things and, um, uh, and they just become part of my history and I try to enliven those things so that other people can feel them as much as I do.